Welcome to That Bigfoot Show. Yes, that one. I'm your host, Taylor James Johnson, and today we're going to do one of those YouTube video list things. Counting down the top 20 squatchy, hairy humanoid cryptid creatures. We all know Bigfoot. We all know Sasquatch. We all know it all. But we don't. There are sightings and legends and evidence of hairy humanoid cryptid creatures from all over the world. Maybe they are the same type of creature as Bigfoot or Sasquatch, just goes by a different name. Maybe it's a different type of creature altogether. Maybe they're Sasquatch cousins. Maybe they're like demonic spirits or something. Or just a type of undiscovered ape. We've got them all, well, most of them, on this list. Going through the best Bigfoot slash Sasquatchy kind of creatures that aren't Bigfoot or Sasquatch. And yes, there are so many of them, I've tried to narrow them down to 20. Even combining some, because a lot of these are probably the same creature just going by a different name. The ranking of this list isn't really all that scientific. Of course, all I really did is just kind of what felt natural based on their popularity, coolness factor, how much information there is. But yeah, I kind of just went with my instincts here. So if you don't really understand how this is ranked, well, don't worry, because neither do I. So here we go. The top 20 squatchy, hairy, humanoid, cryptid creatures on that Bigfoot show on the Paranormal Network. Oh, and yeah, before we do this, please like, share, and subscribe and click that bell to get those notifications if you like this kind of stuff. So yeah, let's get back to the show. Here goes the list. Number 20, the Billy Ape, also known as the Kulakamba or Bondo Mystery Apes. These creatures are very, very interesting and stand out amongst the rest on this list because it is possible that these are chimp gorilla hybrids or an entirely new species altogether. So some people are really fascinated by this and like, oh my gosh, these billy apes. Look at them, the missing link or whatever. And other people are like, a chimpanzee just got freaky with a gorilla, who cares? But I care. And they cared back in the 1860s, that's when this theory started. But yeah, there have been recent DNA tests that point to this just being a type of chimpanzee. But that's still pretty cool too. But yeah, just the fact that these creatures are out there gives us hope for the rest on this list. And that's one from the early 1900s, I believe, mm -hmm. where these guys uh, shot one, and um, they were like, what is this? Number 19, the Kalinoro. These mysterious monsters have been in Madagascar for thousands of years, and possibly all throughout Africa. The Kalinoro are said to be only two feet tall, are covered with hair, and kidnap children. They have long, creepy, scary fingernails and magical powers. And there's even a rumor out there that U.S. Navy SEALs had to fight them in the Congo. Number 18, Mapinguari. These can be found in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. And these creatures definitely stand out amongst other hairy humanoids because, well, they only have one eye, they're cyclopses, and have a mouth on its stomach. Some claim that this is folklore that has been developed into the Brazilian paranormal culture because of giant ground sloth cultural memory. So as humans, we saw some giant ground sloth and then slowly, because of storytelling embellishment, the sloth turned into this. Number 17, he begun the Japanese Bigfoot in Japan. I really like the he be gone because it sounds like he be gone. Because you're like, hey look, there's a he be gone. And he's like, oh no, he be gone. These are said to be black and gorilla-like. Number 16, the Agropelter. These can be found all over the wooded areas of Northern USA. They are known to throw branches and stuff with their whip-like arms. Wow, look at those arms. And unfortunately, these things are not friendly. Number 15. Sisimitu. A lot of people call this one the Mexican Bigfoot. Even though they live in Honduras, Belize, Guatemala, and Nicaragua, these are not carnivorous, they're vegans, but they kidnap women. The Sisimitu can be seen in the 1951 movie Bride of the Gorilla. Sounds like a fun romantic comedy. Number 14, The Magian Monster. 
These creatures are said to have black or red hair and can be found in Arizona, USA. Watch out because these are said to be predators. And watch out because these are said to have a horrible odor. Well, what's Halloween without a good ghost story? <laughs> Gotta or have one. In this case, a good monster story, as in the Muggian monster, Arizona's very own Bigfoot. Number 13, Agagwe, another of the smaller hairy humanoids found in East Africa. These are said to be around two to five feet tall, have really long arms, and, you know, some believe that the Agagwe is a type of early man that still survives. An East African Neanderthal. Number 12, the Almas. These creatures are all over Central Asia, Mongolia, Russia. Recorded sightings date back to the 15th century. Once again, often described as Neanderthal-like, a living caveman, they say. One of the most famous stories of the Almas is a female named Zana, who was captured in the 1880s and had hybrid children with a people, human, human man, person. Oh, those 80s, they were crazy, the 1880s. And yeah, there are really old medical books that list almas meat as having medicinal properties. So if you're ever sick and you see one of these, eat it before it eats you. Number 11, the Ohio Grassman in Ohio, USA. The Ohio Grassman is reported to be very aggressive and makes little huts out of grass. Aw, that's so cute if it wasn't so aggressive. The Native Americans that lived in the Ohio territory would leave food out for the creature as a sign of friendship and peace. So the Ohio grassmen wouldn't kill them. Aw, oh, trapper, this ain't a good situation. Number 10, Mande Barung. This is the Bigfoot of India. Some say these can get up to 10 feet tall. And there's a very disturbing story of a man who was kidnapped by the Mande Barung and it forced breastfed him. He said the milk from the Monday Barung is very bitter. Number nine, the Bukitima Monkey Man, AKA BTMM. These can be found in Singapore, have grayish hair and a monkey face. They're shorter than other Sasquatch cousins. These are more around, you know, five foot 10. The first reported sighting was in 1805 and many Japanese soldiers encountered these in World War II. Number eight, the Barmanu from Afghanistan and Pakistan. The Barmanu are often seen by shepherds in the mountains, and unfortunately, these also kidnap women too. There was a Spanish zoologist who spent years gathering information on the Barmanu, but tragically, the zoologist was killed in an unsolved murder, and his work was never published. Number seven, Yeren, the Chinese wild man. These are reddish brown, and sightings go back all the way to 340 BC. E. There's the E if you want me to add it. There have been over 400 sightings of this creature in the last century. The Yeren are said to raid villages for food and women, and are widely believed in China. With the panda, the Chinese wild man was used to spotlight environmental deforestation issues in China in the 70s. It was the 70s. Number six, Vietnam rock apes. Some people say that these are the Batutut. These can be five foot or seven foot and their hair is reddish. They don't seem to have any fear of humans and are very confrontational. They throw rocks. That's why they're called Vietnam rock apes. These were seen by American soldiers in Vietnam and it's said that they even attacked them. Yeah, there was some conflict. Vietnam rock apes versus Platoon. Some skeptics don't believe the soldiers and attribute their experiences to hallucinations brought on by PTSD and or LSD. Number five, Kushtaka, also known as the Alaskan Otter Man. And I know what you're thinking, Otter Man, what? But that's what the indigenous people called them because their face and their ears, you know, it's very otter-like and they're seen by rivers. A lot of people are like, why didn't they call them bear men? But their ears and stuff, you know, they, they're not bear-like and their snout is not bear-like. So it actually, it makes sense when you really, really think about it to compare Sasquatch creatures to otters. But these are said to be violent and can lure women into the woods with the sound of baby cries. Of course, the stories of these creatures are woven deep into the indigenous culture of Alaska. But a lot of skeptics think that this is just a bogus story to scare those indigenous children. Go to bed or the otter man will get ya. 
Number four, the Yowie. This is the Australian Bigfoot. There were lots of Yowie sightings in the 70s, because it was the 70s. The Aboriginal people of Australia, they often speak of Yowie legends. Sometimes these are even called Yahoos. This term was taken from the Jonathan Swift book, Gulliver's Travels, as a way to describe savage peoples in the woods, and there was some really compelling Yowie night vision footage released in 2021. Very, very recent, because it's 2022. Number three, the Orang Pindak, found in Malaysia and Indonesia. Sometimes the Orang Pindak is described as hobbit-like, because they're shorter. There's been reports of two and two and a half feet tall ones, and five to five and a half feet tall ones. The Orang Pindek is one of those jungle-dwelling humanoid creatures, and many claim that according to the fossil record, it's very possible that the Orang Pindek exists. Legendary explorer Marco Polo even documented sightings of this in 1219. What really stands out about the Orang Pindek is that it's often described as having a very human-like face. Number two, the skunk ape, also called swamp ape. These stinky, stinky creatures live all over the Florida Everglades and the southern USA. Some people refer to them as wood boogers, but yeah, these cryptid creatures, they live in the swamps, which definitely explains their foul odor. I just love that name, the skunk ape. Sounds delicious. These creatures are described to be more shaggy than other Bigfoot-like creatures. They have a reddish, brownish hair. There are lots of names for the skunk ape. Some think they're different creatures, some think they're the same, but I'm, I'm just gonna include all swampy southern USA squatchy things in this position. Like the Falk Monster from Arkansas, and the creature from the Legend of Boggy Creek. There's also Momo, which is short for Missouri Monster, it's described as black and shiny, charted in the 70s, and the Honey Island Swamp Monster, these are in Louisiana, and have more of a webbed foot thing going on with three long toes. Number 1. Yeti. Abominable Snowman. And of course, these are the most popular of the Squatchy creatures that aren't Sasquatch. These are found in Nepal and are very important to Tibetan folklore and their culture. They roam all through the Himalayas. They like it cold, but are actually not white. The sightings of the Yeti have all been described as mostly, you know, brown. The white fur came from movies and stuff, and you know, it, it looks cool. There were many, many expeditions to find this creature. They found a lot of footprints in the 1920s. There are some very inconclusive DNA from some fingers and a scalp. One of my favorite things about the Yeti is that legendary movie star Jimmy Stewart actually tried to smuggle some pieces of the Yeti into the United States to be studied. Mr. Person, I wish to ask my distinguished colleague, has he one scrap of evidence to add now to the defense he did not give and could not give at that same hearing? I have no defense against forged papers. Committee ruled otherwise. The gentleman stands guilty as charged. So what do you think? How did these all link up? Do you agree with the list? Do you disagree? I'm sure you do. Comment your comment in the comments and let me know what I left off or what I should have said or what I said wrong. But mostly I just want to say thanks for watching That Bigfoot Show. Yes, 